all you jet setters. If you love the great outdoors, then tonight's event is definitely for you. We are here at the Village Theater in Westwood, California, seeing the Ski Channel's premiere of Winter. The film is shot in about 100 locations around the world. It's a, almost like a trip around the world just watching the movie. My most favorite place that I've traveled to is Baffin Island, which is in the Arctic Circle, northern Canada. Thailand to the beach. Thailand. Yeah. White sand beaches, lots of culture, amazing people, good food. I love getting um, out tonight in Montana. Uh, Fred's got a ranch out there. We go out there sometimes and act like cowboys for a week. Dude, I grew up on the mountain in Colorado, and you know every chance we got, we were up there snowboarding and, and jumping off cliffs. So, yeah, well, I don't do it. Um, I just take pictures of it and, and edit right. it together. But um, these guys play for keeps. There's no question. Five thousand foot walls that we climb up the back and we jump off with our wingsuits and our base rigs, our parachutes, and you get anywhere from a one to two minute wingsuit flight, and you're flying out over the fjord and near the wall, and it's just absolutely incredible. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I could do that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit afraid of heights. You no, know, I had a blast doing it. Um, had a blast making it. Had a blast working with these guys. If, it, if it's fun and it's extreme, you know, sign me up. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, this film is made for me. <laughs> uh, I started jumping off roofs when I was little and then turned into jumping off cliffs and now I got a couple world records in cliff jumping. So it's just a natural progression of loving being in the air. That worked well on skiing downhill, I tell you. That was beautiful. Was yeah. I think the film unlocks um, an answer to the, the riddle, which is, you know, why do you do this? And uh, these athletes look at it as they're really not living unless they push it to the edge. I started climbing actually after I graduated college, so I was an adult before I started climbing. And um, I had sort of a very fast learning curve, and I've been able to take it to the highest. I really do believe that I'm pretty average. I don't have like extraordinary athletic abilities and if I can do it I really think that anybody could. It's it's the focus thing. It's being doing something in an environment where you must focus because we get so distracted in everyday life and getting out and doing something where if you weren't focusing you'd be falling is really an amazing thing. It's an amazing feeling. You have a lot of fear but you uh, use that to help you think clearer. We plan for the best, and uh, we try to be as, as safe and calculated as possible, but of course, it's a risky sport. So he's like, you know, what can we jump off of in LA? And I was like, well, nothing legally, but let's go. <laughs> yeah. My son snowboards, my daughter skis, and my biggest concern will be what they want to try, you know, in Mammoth uh, two weeks from now after watching the movie tonight. <laughs> after watching the film, I hope the reaction is, that everyone appreciates the time that they have on Earth and wanted to get more out of every single day they're here. Showcasing people that are passionate about being in the mountains and doing impossible things that, you know, most people can't. I mean, some of the stuff I see, I'm like, wow, that was amazing. It's, it's incredible. Hey, this is Ted Davenport for Jet Set Extra. Hey, this is Scott Elrod, and you're watching Jet Set. Hi, Jet Set Extra. Say hi. We're the bad decisions. We're on Jet Set. Jet Set! You didn't say anything. I said what they said. Come on, one more time. You up. I was like your Jet man. Set on three. One, two, three. Jet, Jet Set! set. <laughs> Is that all you got? Jet Set!